Emmy Award winning actor Jim O'Hare is best known for his role as the lovable and often misunderstood Jerry Gurkich <laughs> on NBC's hit, sick, hit sitcom, hard to say, Parks and Recreation. He's now written a book giving fans a behind the scenes look into the making of the sitcom. Here it is, and yes. here you are here to tell us all about it. My name Welcome is on in. a book. How did I that know. happen? I don't understand this. I, people don't think I can read, so the writing <laughs> part is really, it's thrown a lot of well, people. Well, you're here yes. to show them. <laughs> How does it feel to be such a part of a legacy show that resonates with so many people and is so timeless? Yeah. It's a gift. You know, when you're an actor, it's all a gamble. It's such a tough career. Uh, so to, to get work is always amazing, and then to end up on a show like Parks and Rec that not only do we do seven seasons, which is unheard of nowadays, uh, but we're still, it's been 10 years. The reason we were doing this book, it was, it was the 10-year anniversary of since we're off the air. 10 years later, wow. we're still on television stations, we're still on streaming. I did an event yesterday, and these 14-year-old and 16-year-old best friends came up. They're just finding the show. So it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. And my, my thought is, uh, People keep telling me the, the show feels like a, a comfort. It's mm -hmm. a comfort show, and I have comfort shows in my life, so I think that's why it's stuck around. Um, it's very hopeful. It's a very hopeful show, even in dark times, and uh, it's it's just, a, I, I call it a miracle that I'm there because I auditioned like everybody, and I could have been sick that day, or a million different things right. could have happened. But somehow I ended up on that show, and we did 126 episodes. And the rest is history. The rest and, is history. And in the history. book, you talk about your first audition yeah. all the way up to the conclusion of the show. I mean, did you ever think it was going to be such a hit? No. And as a matter of fact, we, <laughs> none of us did. It, uh, we always knew the quality was there, but we were getting canceled every minute. We kept uh -huh. hearing things aren't good, things aren't good. And I tell uh -huh. the story in the book, we truly were canceled. Uh, at, at the end of season four, the powers that be got on a plane in New York, they pulled us from the schedule, and somehow by the time they landed in L.A., we were back on. So, I mean, we were this close to being done after four seasons, which, ah, the thought of that just makes me crazy. Um, we we came out of the gate, you know, we were a, a supposed to be an office spinoff because it was created by Greg Daniels and Mike Shore, and they didn't really want to do a spinoff of The Office. They wanted to do something in the government. And so when the show began, people were comparing us, oh, the Leslie Nope character is too much like Michael Scott, and some people weren't loving that. But by season two, we had found our groove, and I think we sailed since then. But we were always ratings challenged, but we became the critical darling. Mm -hmm. Like, we became, it was either Time or Newsweek, one of them called us like a show of the decade. And, and that's, that's kind of hard to cancel a actor, show when your people it? are calling you that. Yeah. I'm sorry, what's that? Uh, that's what you want as an actor. That's, oh that's my what goodness. you want. That's a gift. And, you know, I think both of those shows, it's a part. the appeal is the characters, like yeah. these, the characters that everyone can kind of identify with, someone knows someone like them yeah. uh, in their <laughs> lives. And your character was this lovable kind of punching bag Yes, of a there's character. a moment in the show where uh, Nick Offerman, who played Ron Swanson, he does a talking head and he looks to the camera and he goes, every office has a shlemiel and a shlemazel. At our office, Jerry is both. Uh -huh. So that is who my character was. Uh, and some people are like, oh, they were so mean to you. But I always said they always had Jerry's back when it counted. And Jerry loved them. And also they gave Jerry, my character had the greatest life. I, my wife was played by Christy Brinkley. We had three gorgeous daughters. Um, so th they took care of Jerry. It was all good. So you have gratitude even in, in the show. You oh, have gratitude. nothing but gratitude. Um, Absolutely. And you talk about some never never before revealed stories yeah. and anecdotes about the show. Can you share any of those with us now? Well, the one, you know, I met so many people got involved, the cast and the creators, and told me things I never knew. That's my favorite thing about this book. The fans of the show are going to go, what? Because if I didn't know it, I know they didn't know mm -hmm. it. I never knew Amy Poehler was not the first one cast. It was Aziz. Uh, I never knew that NBC had offered them the slot after the the uh, the slot after the Super Bowl, and they turned it down because they wanted to wait for Amy. Uh, Nick Offerman was this close to not playing Ron Swanson because he had been up for an, a job on The Office that was looked like it was going to go to him, but he couldn't do it because his wife was on Will and Grace, and they wanted him to do a guest spot there, so he chose to do that. Had he done that, he would not, because they didn't want to cross, they didn't want things to cross over. I had auditioned for The Office, didn't get it, was very upset because I love that show. Had I gotten it, I wouldn't have been able to play Jerry because they were trying to keep the, the world separate. So there's all those kind of stories of how it all came together. There's great stories about how Aubrey Plaza became 
you know, the casting director called Mike Shore and said, this is a weird girl. You have to meet her. <laughs> and then Mike meets her and he goes, she is weird. I'm afraid of her, but I love she's her. She's perfect. And then she's perfect, yeah. So there's all those, yeah, behind the scenes stuff. It always is interesting to hear about those things that might have never happened yes, and it all the, worked out and came why. together. Exactly. Well, I can't wait to read this. It's called Welcome to Pawnee. Tell people where they can get it. And you are on a book tour. Currently. I'm on a book tour. We're going all over the country. And you can get it pretty much, you know, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Amazon, your local bookstore. And I guess it's got to cut, shout out because you pointed it up. The cover is amazing. And I didn't create it. It is so pretty I take amazing. No credit. But if you're a fan of the show, you're going to love the cover of this book. Well, I love the scene in the bathtub that we keep showing. <laughs> Please, is that what you're showing in the bathtub? I, <laughs> well, thank you so That's much terrific. for being here. Thank good luck you. on the book tour. It was so such a pleasure to meet you. Good to meet you too.